Let's move to the um, my next favorite food, um, which is mud chicken. I, I have this all the time. It's my favorite food. Um, I cook it regularly. <laughs> no, I you don't. Go, you go hit it. You this, get is a, the, this is the story, and I can never backyard, pronounce. Hit the chicken I, in the head. I can never pronounce these guys' names, so I won't even try. But um, this guy Lu Bang becomes the first emperor of the Han Dynasty, and um, he's the one who invented mud chicken. I guess is the story. But there's probably a lot of stories because this happened. His he reigned the his his from 202 to 195 BC. All right, so this is a long time ago. Do we yeah. really know? So he, go ahead. He, yeah, there, there's different stories of how mud chicken was. Uh, but I'll give you a brief uh, a brief synopsis of like 4,000, 2,000 years of. Uh, you um, know what, Chinese Joseph? I can't. Before. I'm sorry, but I can't hear you. So I know that the recording is not going to be able to hear you. I don't know why. Huh. And can Haley, you can me? you all unmute for a second? I, yeah, I can. I can hear you. I can. I can hear you. Hear you. you can hear Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. So mud chicken. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, China, China goes. The first dynasty in China was the Shia dynasty about 2,000 years ago, which is like, you know, 500 years after the Great Pyramids were made in Egypt. But it, uh, they had no writing, and everything we know about the Shia, we, we learn about from dynasties that came after it. The big dynasty uh, in the BC was called the Zhou, the Zhou dynasty. And they, over, they overthrew a dynasty called the Shang. And they, they started out really well. The, the, Shang, the, the Zhou dynasty lasted about 750 years. And it started out really well, but it started to go bad after about 200 years, and it kept getting worse and worse. The last hundred or so years of the Zhou Dynasty was was a time called the Warring States period. It gives you some sense of what's going on. It is sort of fragmented and, and gone into very little states, and they were all like little warlords fighting each other. And that happens in China throughout its infancy. It unites and then it falls apart and then it unites and it falls apart. Unlike European histories after the Roman Empire, we fell apart and that was it, right? We just stayed apart forever. Uh, but the, but it fell apart and, and during this, the, the time of divisions in the warring states, that was the time actually of Confucius and Lao Tzu and uh, the great poets and the great philosophers and the great historians of China. But there's one but the guy who united them all again was a guy called Qing Shi Huangdi, which is the first emperor. And he's the one who's famous for the terracotta warriors, right? He was also- In my, in my notes, I have that he's the bad guy in this story. He is, he's, he, he united it. And the reason he united it, because he was pretty much of an asshole, right? He, he did unify China, right? And he systematized the roads and the measurements and the money and the monetary system of everybody was united and think, but, Imagine that taking a, you know, a hundred warring states and putting them all together in one, one China. You don't do that by being a nice guy, right? And one of the things he, he was a control freak, and he says everybody's got to think like me. So one of the things he's famous for is burning all the books, because all thought is gone but my thought, right? And then instead of just burning all the books, he had to bury all the scholars, because the scholars could just rewrite the books, right? right? Well, but hard. just yeah, that's rude. And and, and and to top it off, he buried him alive. <laughs> so, so, so he's famous for the terracotta warriors and unifying the, the weights and measures, burying scholars alive and burning books. Now, the, so he did cor correct, me if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but you, you saw the terracotta warriors because you sent me pictures. These are these warriors that were life size. Thousands yeah, of them yeah, all buried. Yeah. What was that like? Times. Was that it's amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I first, I, yeah, when I first saw them back in 1988 or 85 or something, uh, you could drive right up to it, right? You could drive up to it, get out, and go go into like where they're buried. They were just digging them out, right? 
I went back a few years ago and you can't get anywhere near it, right? You you can drive in and they put you on a little bus and they, they take you there and they you know they screen you. Uh, but yeah, they're still there. It's it's a, it's amazing. So he did that. Why did they have it, to increase the security? Were those were those guys like turned into zombies and trying to like leave their little pit? Absolutely, they were like zombies, man. You could, uh, well, they were being pillaged. They don't, tourists were coming and taking off noses and stuff, right? So, anyway, right, so how did how did Lu Bing get the chicken in the mud? Okay, so obviously, Ching Shui Wang Di, nobody liked, right? They liked that he united China, but everybody was pissed at him. So it started falling apart right away, right? Including one of his major generals called Xiang Yu uh, started a rebel and then everything. He died and there was a big rebel. All these rebellions were going on. And one of the rebels was this guy, the the guy called... Um, um, Liu Bang. Liu Bang. Liu Bang, yeah, he was the one. And he wasn't one of the main generals. He was like a little sheriff in this little small county. He was like nothing was going on with him. And at one time he was he was he was actually transporting some prisoners that Chu Shi Wang Di was bringing over for execution. And it, it was an overnight stop. So he had to sleep overnight. When he woke up, half of his prisoners had escaped, right? And during the sure Ching Shi, the, the Qin dynasty, right? You don't make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get your head cut off. So he was going to be the one going to the next city for to, to get to get to get killed. So he says, "Well, forget that." Which is everybody's doing. If the only prison, if the only punishment is, you know, uh, death, right? You are either going to die or you're going to rebel. So he he took the rest of his prisoners. He says, "Well, I'll let you go, but." follow me, I'm going to be your rebel leader. So with this little group of prisoners, he set off on one of the rebels. And one of the times he was like raiding the Chin camp and he took one of their chickens and he was running away with it. Uh, and their army woke up and they were chasing him and he had to hide the chicken. So he, he covered the chicken in mud, put it in the ground, you know, hit it and he ran away, right? And a little while He's with his 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 escapes escaped prisoners, and he goes, "I have to go back and get my chicken." And they go, "No, you're you're cr you're crazy, man! Just leave the chicken, <laughs> Lubang. Leave the chicken. We got to get out of here." He goes, "No, I got to go get the chicken." So he sneaks back at night, gets the chicken. Of course, he doesn't wash the mud off, right? Because he's still a rebel. So he gets the he gets the muddy chicken, runs back to his troops, and they're still in a hurry. So they light light this little fire, and they put the mud and everything right on the fire. And what happens is, is that this mud is like clay and it gets hard, right? So it becomes like a, a pressure cooker. The pressure cookers this chicken inside of it where all the juice and they had some lotus leaves in there and it got buried with. So when he actually broke open the chicken, it was like this very juicy, like Costco chicken, right? And uh, so that was how he, and, and, and he was probably very hungry, right? to have a risk his life to go back and get his uh, chicken. So that probably helped, helped the taste. Uh, and that was the origin of, and, and you know, he told the story after he became emperor to all the little emperor, uh, all the little prince and pristlings right? about how he was the, while they're eating their mud chicken, you got to tell the story of when I was a young rebel. <laughs> and that's, he's the, like, and that's he's the story. Like, he's like the, the Chinese Kentucky fried chicken did. No, absolutely. Actually, he franchised. And that's how he founded his general, empire. He's like, he's like General Tao's chicken. Who you, That's an interesting story, too, because General General Tao is not known for chicken in China. He's a famous general. But in America, that's a Chinese food dish. It's very yummy. It's great. General Tao. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that, that, that's the story. And the Han Dynasty lasted 400 years. Uh, so, because it was founded on this franchise, they could afford uh, to to keep the empire going. And then uh, it was, and it was contemporaneous with the Roman Empire, and it was an equal amount of uh, space. It was as big as the Roman Empire, and it lasted as long as the Roman Empire. And it was probably better organized. And there was even some indication that at one point, Han soldiers had a war with the Roman soldiers. 
and uh, at the very edge of both of well what happens is the roman soldiers got captured by the persian soldiers and so the and they joined the persian army and then the persians say you go fight the chinese and they did and they lost so not only well they lost to the persians so you know and then they go over later and get like they they, they lose to the chinese because they did find that the remains of this battle with Chinese weapons and Roman weapons, you know, buried together. So at some point there was there was a battle between the. Wow, the that's a that's Chinese. amazing. I never yeah. knew that the Chinese had fought the um, the Romans. Some Roman you know, soldiers. What's interesting yeah. is that is that chicken survived too, because that's the same chicken that laid the eggs for Francis's French toast. <laughs> I think so. It's all connected. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> All right. So that's that's it was awesome. The same chicken. It's the same damn chicken. All right. So okay. we've We're got the chicken, one. we've got the French toast. 